Hello everyone and welcome back to Chronos Plays Trails of Cold Steel 2. I'm going around the ship and I'm talking to everyone and apparently Eustace and Mackie are having a little cutscene together. Now that my father has been dealt with, we shouldn't need to worry about, about Brayheart for a while at least. I still need to give some thought as to what ought to be done after the war though. Right, hang him? This may sound strange coming from me, but don't overthink it. Put it out of your mind and just focus on the task at hand. Don't lose sight of the present by focusing too much on the past or the future. I know, I don't need you to tell me that. Having Father rested is a burden off my shoulders, if nothing else. Now, all we can do is keep moving forward. I'll say no more then. Seeing you all quiet and contemplative like this is just strange. <laughs> Spare me your cheek. Well, it looks like Eustace is going to be just fine. Mackie's is right though. Uh, we have to focus on the present, and that means going to the shrines! Which is assuming, seemingly what we're going to be doing. Um, I don't know if it's going to be another one of those one and done and on to the next part of the story type deal or if it's going to be like I complete the rest of them, which are three of them. We have some side quests to do, so I'll probably do the side quests first. Uh, first, yeah. Uh, first before I head to the, the shrines. So Dorothy here has uh, mainly Manly Munchies Curry, which I, apparently she didn't have before. So let's go ahead and... Read. I almost said eat that, but that's a book. We don't eat books here. We read them. Spicy curry. So, how are we doing on this? Oh, apparently we missed one. That must have been from last chapter and I didn't see it. Huh. But well, we only have two recipes left, which is... Shocking. <laughs> now that everything in Heart has been resolved, we can finally get back to gathering some Marinor. Although, that tree over in Crossville isn't exactly putting my mind at ease. Yeah, still, that's a ways away. All we can do is focus on things in Erebonia for now. We have to. That's true. If we can gather ore from the rest of the shrine, we should have enough to make Valmar's Tachi. I can't imagine the trials are about to get any easier, though. Even if they don't, I'm sure we'll be able to handle it. Especially with you on our side. We're counting on you. <laughs> Thanks. I'm assuming the trials must scale then, right? Like, cause you, I didn't go to the other ones cause I kind of thought we were going to be going to all of them anyways. Uh, so I just started at the beginning. Maybe we could only have done Terra Shrine. I don't know, but I'm assuming that if that's not the case, then they have to scale cause because we've gained probably eight levels alone since we started the terror shrine right that sounds right i mean we were in our 90s low 90s i believe when we started terror shrine we gained levels quickly yeah but we gained like three or four during uh not just the shrine but also the the story mission as well it felt like i hashtag i could be wrong but still at the same time I don't know, I feel like we were in our low 90s when that took place. We have a lot of students to actually recruit this time around, too. We got Bridget Barrel. We know where Rosine is. I'm assuming she's still in Celdic, yeah. Barrel's at the Terror, terror Shrine. She was sighted in Ymir, okay. Bridget was in Brayhard. Colette was in Brayhard. Rex is at Oryx Fort, okay. And Teresa was in Brayhard as well. Yeah, okay, cool. Well, I mean, let's go to Ymir and see what the hell's up for Barrel uh, before we start these side quests. I would like to get full CP anyways. So, okay, we can go to Brayhard. Makes sense, we just conquered it. And Oryx Fort. I'm assuming we can't go inside Oryx Fort, but we'll, we'll, we'll see. You know, go out onto Oryx Path, Canyon Path, from the eastern side of Brayhard. Okay. Oh, we haven't actually been there yet, have we? I mean, we had, like, a bike ride there, go? didn't we? But... We didn't actually... Oh, okay. I was like, what the hell is that? that does... I, for... I forgot the shrines were marked off for a second. Now, if I was Beryl... Like, apparently would be in Ymir Valley, but instead of that, how about we just have a dip at the Hut Spring real fast and, uh, let our CP get maxed out. So she's in Ymir Valley. Of course she is. She's probably at that part where freaking Valimar was resting, like when we first started teleporting places. I, I will talk to the people in town too. Oh, snowboarding. We should check that out. Oh, there's Barrel. 
Giggle. Huh? Hey, wait! Pretty sure she can take care of herself. Guess she didn't hear us. She looks looked kind of familiar, really. Wasn't that Beryl from the Cult Research Society? There was something odd about her, that's for sure. Yeah. I'm not sure it's a good idea for her to be wandering out in the valley alone. We should probably go after her. She was wandering Nord alone. She was, like, standing in a place where a septid, like, a septid appeared, like, just, like, a, the next day. So, I'm pretty sure she's evil incarnate, which means we should recruit her. She's definitely going to be at the, uh, at the, the monument place, or whatever the hell it's called, the ancient artifacts place. Or she could just be at that bridge there. What do I know? I know nothing. Jon Snow... <laughs> oh, I see. What the? Told ya! Evil incarnate! She hasn't done anything evil, Kronos. I know, but she's also a witch, probably. Or maybe a different kind of witch. Did, did, did she just disappear before our very eyes? What's the plan? Think we should keep heading further up the mountain after her? Sure, yeah. I think we should. And Emma and Celine, maybe you get your facts correct. And see if she's actually a witch or not. Like, there has to be more than one clan of witches out there, right? Maybe even if they started as one, they probably branched off eventually. Groups of people, they don't really stay connected for, a, for all eternity. They like to branch off when their ideals differ. Hey, Beryl, what's up? My suspicions uh, that this is the source of the spiritual energy in the valleys here appears to be correct. Meanwhile, the great energy floating in this spot is due to the fact that the Ashen Knight once used its power here. <laughs> I'm right, aren't I? Well, yeah, Valmar was here for quite a while. Anyway, never mind that for now. Or mind, mind him for now. I'm glad to see you again, Beryl. Have you been wandering around here uh, ever since we last spoke? Oh, yes. Whenever the whispers of my guardian spirit and the devils beckoned me... Told you, evil incarnate. I answer their call. I have been able to visit power spots all over eastern Erebonia thanks to their guidance. From Neolithic ruins to lakeside castles, from lands connected to the earth spirits, I can't imagine a better use of my time. I'm impressed that you traveled all the way to Lohengrin Castle and to a spirit shrine. You got crazy stamina, that's for sure. If you'll allow me to ask, just who are you, really? No ordinary student should be able to do all that. You're obviously not a witch, but beyond that... <laughs> a fine question, indeed. And yet so few people, tr few people truly know enough about themselves to answer it. In a way, I'm simply one more person peering into the darkness, pursuing an answer to that... The, to that very same question. The truth is shrouded in shadow. When I peer into the darkness, it stares right back at me. Uh, okay. I went through a goth phase. Well, okay. It, never, it wasn't really a phase. I st still kind of dress in all black most of the time, but still. It doesn't answer the question in the slightest. Seriously, I think that's enough about me. You're looking for Thor students to board the courageous, yes? I'd be happy to come on board now that our journey has reached its end. Oh, uh, sure? Welcome aboard, Beryl. <laughs> the pleasure's all mine. But please, call, call me Queen Beryl. It's a, it's a Power Rangers reference. Alright, let's... I mean, some people should know that. No, well, no, they made a movie, didn't they? I didn't see the movie, but I'm assuming it wasn't that great. Uh, can I not? Oh, I can. Okay, great. Return to the Courageous. I should go and talk to everyone in the mirror. Um, if I was Queen Beryl, what would I be? Probably standing in front of Valmar going, I like you. That's not where Valmar is. Also, clearly, she's not on the map. Uh, is there... Nap room? Maybe she's in the magic room? Oh, fortune teller. Never mind. Never mind. She's in the fortune teller room. Because uh, apparently we have one of those on this ship. Hi, Beryl.
Welcome, young one, to my room of fortune. Come closer if you dare see what your fate has in store for you. Uh, hold on a second. Where'd all this even come from? Did you set this whole thing up on your own? <laughs> oh, there's no need to worry. I received permission. With war raging around us, there's no shortage of students whose hearts need guidance. I'm here to provide it to them. Okay. What kind of person signs off on something like this? Well, uh, like, well, like this, yeah. <laughs> if there's something you don't believe or understand about my explanation, simply attribute, attribute it to this, this to faith. Should you ever find yourself lost in this swirling void and in need of my guidance, please do come and visit. I'd be happy to offer my services. Perhaps you'd be interested in knowing your compatibility with your companions. Yes. Compatibility reading. Uh, two elements are going to your compatibility. The first element is your bond, sure. And the second... Whether you had a faithful moment with them that will allow your relationship to advance. Ooh. Uh, the companions? Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. Also makes sense. Definitely. Yeah. That's it? That's- yeah, that's all? Really? I guess we did miss some on Laura and Emma. Well, no, we, we've been hanging out with Emma for a while, haven't we? Oh, okay, these are the next ones? Yeah. Oh, so they're close. Okay. Oh, that's neat, I guess. Find the names whom you developed a strong weapon have not experienced a failed moment with. Oh, no one at all. <laughs> oh, well, like, no, sucks to be you. Glad I'm not your friend. Uh, do you have anything else? The Great Knight? Sure. Alright, well, thank you, Beryl. You demon disguise. Uh, yeah, I guess I'll go back to Ymir and... Uh, I might look up where I need to go for, like... The recipes in the book. I really don't want to spend an hour going around to places and talking to NPCs again. Where do you want to go? I guess I could do the side quest first and then do that. I don't know. I mean, I'm assuming in Berehard and Sel that no, well, maybe. Well, let's go get Rosine because I Rosine! I wanted to recruit her when we first saw her. I like Rosine, um, even if I did forget her name earlier in the game. Uh, not that long ago, actually, it was like three episodes ago. Uh, if I was Rosine, I would be in here. That makes sense. Hi, Rosine. Get on the ship. Oh, did you see my request? Thank you for ever so... Oh, you have a side quest. Oh, you have a side quest. Although I was hoping for that Elliot would be with you. Oh, right. Yes, that's right. You have a concert. You wish to have a concert. That's a shame. I'm not in the concert move right, move right now, Rosine. Go? I guess Berea hard. We'll get the students first. So, Teresa was in here, yeah? She was having a spiff with her dad. You want me to stab him? Uh, they call me Captain Stabbing, so... I can do... Oh, hello? Where's your daughter? You're those students who were involved with Duke Albrea's arrest, correct? I hope you realize that all of this is due to your meddling. What's that supposed to mean? Could you elaborate for us, please, before I stab your ass? I'm aware that you're Teresa's father, but is that somehow related? Ever since the Duke's arrest, Teresa's have mentally expressed her desire to join your group on the Courageous. Good! She's a good person. I can never allow that, of course, so she's chosen to run away. Did, did she really? Might we ask why you're so opposed? Is, is such a question necessary when you're aware of our noble lineage? To calibrate us means we must think long and harder how to proceed from here on out. Are you truly of the opinion that I should allow my daughter to fef, fef, f about with those who seek to oppose the Alliance? This is certainly a tense period for the nobles in Bereard. Well, if, I think it's important for you to understand that they're, they're not exactly opposing the Noble Alliance. Yes, we are. Yep, we're just doing what we can to end the war. 
by opposing the Noble Alliance. <laughs> Say what you will. Your actions will bring the wrath of the Noble Alliance upon you, no matter what your no matter your intent. I'm certain Teresa will return soon enough, anyway. In the meantime, I don't want any of you to get involved in this, understand? I'm gonna go kidnap your daughter. Sorry, but that doesn't seem like a promise we can keep. Should we go search for her? I'm kinda worried, to be honest. Yeah. She couldn't have gone far. Maybe we'll find her in town? Yeah, though we'll have to make sure the Baron doesn't find out what we're up to. We could just stab him. That would make me feel better anyways. How about this? Let's come out here. And stab these two and then we'll adopt the dog. He can come and be our dog. Because these two are assholes. I was Teresa, I would probably go to the airport to get away. Or I could be down there? Assuming that's Teresa? Yeah. Are you fishing? No, you're just standing there looking at the water. That's lo likely sewage. Hi. Here you are, Teresa. Oh, I wasn't expecting to run into you, any, uh, any of you here. I take it my father told you what happened. <laughs> I can be more pitiful. Don't say that. I got all worked up arguing with him, and when he wouldn't give up, uh, give me what I wanted, I stormed off in a huff. Since then, I haven't done a thing but hide here. Could have found a better place. I didn't even have the courage to leave town, let alone join you. Only Emily was here. Well, Emily's on the courageous. We should bring her here. That's, then what are we waiting for? Emily's... Yeah, call Emily. Emily's the... The, the long-distance trainer person, right? Also on the uh, lacrosse team? Yeah, her. Emily? I'm not dreaming, am I? <laughs> no, been a while, huh? How's it been? You know full well the answer to that. I've been worried sick about you ever since we parted ways. Yeah, same. Not a day went by where I didn't think about you. I'm so glad you're safe. Emily! Uh, shade of passion hug. Are you two a thing? I'm so happy for, for them. Yeah, likewise. Thank you so much for bringing Emily back to me. I can finally rest easy now. Even I don't want I won't even I won't be able to join you all. Oh please, did you really think I'd just up and ditch you? I've heard all about your dad's stance of things. That's one of the reasons I tagged along, you know. Let's go convince him by stabbing him. We're gonna make him a uh, you a proud member of courageous no matter what. Naturally we'll be helping by stabbing. I'm sure he'll come around once he bleeds enough. Truly. Thank you, everyone. Let's go stab dad. Oh, okay, so we're not getting a scene? Upon laying eyes on Emily for the first time, the Baron made no efforts to hide his discontent towards her. Okay, so are Teresa and Emily a thing? And I'm assuming that dad doesn't approve. Of the ICT's slowly being the thaw, once it became clear that she shared a true bond with Teresa. In the end... I mean, I guess it could be, like, just best friends or sisterly love. Fine, I understand. I'll allow you the boy the courageous. Father! And I have no intention of changing my beliefs of as a noble anytime soon. Oh, I'd be a fool not to recognize the bond you crafted the, craft, the bond crafted between the two of you. I should request that you take care of Teresa in my stead, Lady Emily. <laughs> it would be my pleasure, right, Teresa? Of course! Who? I'm glad that more or less got resolved with a happy ending and less stabbing. I'm not. I really can't thank you all enough for this. I doubt I would have been able to convince Father of on my own. Uh, you guys might have... Uh, you guys even jumped at the right times during the discussion. Jumped in at the right time to the discussion, too. Okay. But yeah, thanks for that. Uh, thanks a lot. It's great to know I'll be able to fight along Teresa from now on. Oh, come on. This, that was, was all you and Teresa. <laughs> it was all thanks to your friendship in the end. Uh, now we just need to find Ferris. Yep, the party doesn't start until the cross club's totally reunited. All right, if we don't, you don't mind. I'm going to board the courageous ahead of you. I'm so happy I can be with you all. Same here. So they say friend, but the passionate hug. You normally don't say you have a passionate hug with a friend. It's usually... There's usually other things involved. Maybe it's one of those they didn't want to come out outright and say it. Though they have no real problem saying it with Angelica, so I don't really know. Why? I don't know. Maybe maybe it's just a strong friendship. 
But the passionate hug thing was like, that's that's lovers. That's a lover's thing, not a friend thing. You don't have a passionate hug with a friend. Ah, whatever. Let's go get Bridget. Hey, Bridget, get on the ship! Reen! <laughs> I'm glad you, we got a chance to meet again. I was here, like, two episodes ago. Last episode? I was standing behind you. Bridget! We saw we saw you last time we were here, but it's good to see you're still doing well. My father happens to be friends with the people of this household, and I somehow managed to make it here after escaping from Thor's. I've been working for them as a house to a tutor ever since. Ah, that makes sense, I guess. We must have missed you the last time we were here. No, no, I came in here and I stood right beside her, and I was like, oh, that's Bridget. It's rare to see such a sp uh, such spirit within a lady of the noble. Of no boy, what? I misread that and I confused myself. It's rare to see such spirit within a lady of nobility. Sure. It still confused me, even I read it right that time. Well, I've heard all about your escapades on the courageous. Not to mention the fact that you arrested Duke Albert himself. Class 7 really does know how to pull off the impossible. It wasn't easy, but I'll say that mu I'll say that much. Hey, if you can if we can, why not make the impossible possible? That aside, I got a favor to ask. Would you be willing to join us? Alan is losing his fucking mind. Like, he wants you near him. Like, he's constantly, like, thrusting his sword in the training hall. It's kind of weird. I'm sure we could use your help, also, when we take back Thor's. Huh. Well, it's probably about time I left now that Lord Hancock and Lady L Lorna have returned. But unfortunately, I can't join you all just yet. Any reason why? Well, you see, I actually fled from Thor's with Alan. Then we got split up along the way. I've been worry uh, worrying about him nonstop ever since. I think I'd just end up being a liability if I joined you like this. I see. I doubt that, but I know how you must feel. Guess she wouldn't know that he's joined us. Why wouldn't we just say that then? Should we bring him? Yes. Well, you're not going out anytime soon, are you? Stay put. There's someone we'd like you to see. I guess we want to surprise her. I is it who I think it is? No. We bring someone completely different. Just to dash her hopes. Bridget! Uh, Alan, is it really you? <sighs> yep, in the flesh. Uh, I'm sorry, Bridget. I promised I'd protect you, but wound up making you worry instead. Please don't apologize. I'm sure you were just as worried about me as I was about you. You've been fighting hard ever since we were separated, haven't you? Knowing you're safe is all I ever needed. But you guys aren't You guys on heart I know you have a thing for each other! I'm glad they finally got reunited. <laughs> their time apart hasn't hurt their relationship at all. They're off in their own little world. Ah <laughs> man, this is cute. I guess this is to be expected after they were separated for so long. Thank you so much, everyone. I can finally do what I need to now that I know Alan's safe. Will you be coming with us, Bridget? Oh absolutely not. <laughs> She just walks out. I'm not entirely sure how much use I'll be to you, but I want to be I want to do my part in saving Thor's. Then let's take help take back together. I swear I'll never let anything come between us again. G goodness, Alan. <laughs> how far does your nightly passion extend, I wonder? <laughs> it's good to have you both on board. We've had Alan on board for a long time. He actually flew the ship for a while before Angela Angelica kicked him out. Alright, so... Oh, okay. Oh, is that what you meant? I thought... I don't know, I kind of thought you were going to like do it later. Everyone gathered around and enjoyed the soft sound of Bridget's piano. And when she said her farewell, she and Alan boarded the, board the Courageous. Whoa. Alright. Character notebook updated. Um, you know what? We're here... Let's go and see if Scarlet has woken up. You think we can go and see uh, Duke Butthead? Nope. And Scarlet's down here. Okay, so no, we can't go. Uh, yeah, I will check out the other areas of Rayhard. I guess I can talk to everyone now that I'm here. I'll just come back later do it. I just want to make sure I'm not missing any students. Because I have already forgotten 
where they all are. So let's return to the Courageous. If I was Bridget, where would I be? Probably with Alan. Probably not, actually. In here? No, that's Teresa. Hi, Teresa. Oh, oh, okay. So we have more training? So, okay, what, oh, okay. So what did you, didn't we do the third one? No, we didn't do the third one. Okay, that makes sense. I guess I never really considered that. I kind of thought that we had access to every training available. But I guess we needed to recruit the right people. Uh, is that you down there? No, that's Monica. Don't know why I was about to say Lewinsky. Looks nothing like her. Also has nothing to do with, like, swimming at all. Hi, Bridget. Breen, can I possibly ask you a favor? Nope. No asking aloud. I'm kidding. <laughs> I was like, holy shit, Reed. Of course you can. Uh, thanks. Can weirdo? It's about Alan, actually. I'm sure you know he's done a lot for me since we first started dating. I want to show him just how much I appreciate that. That's really nice of you. Got anything in mind? Well, yes. I'm thinking of cooking for him. All the housework I did in Brayhard helped boost my confidence in the kitchen. So I'd like to surprise him with a really special homemade meal. I have a feeling he'd like that. I can see him jumping for joy already. The only issue being, I'm absolutely no idea what I should make him. That's where you come in. Could you bring me some dishes that you consider unique that I can sample? You wouldn't have to do this right away, of course. Just whenever you're free. If that's all you need, then sure. If I see or taste anything particularly unique, I'll bring it to you straight away. Do I have anything? I have three things. Okay. Sure, I don't think I have any, like, bad dishes. I think I found these in chests, except for the onigiri. I do... probably... have the ability... Oh, I, what do you... Whoa, 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 hold the hell up! What do you mean I didn't get that one? Actually, I haven't got a lot of them. Oh, maybe I guess I just made that there, huh? Yeah, I gotta make... These four. I'll we'll probably just wait till I get them all. Gotta have just the cook off um, when it comes to like getting freaking those quests done. They don't really give you anything, it seems like. We got a terror terror bomb for the first goddamn thing. Rex was at Oryx Fort. Colette is Artisan. What? Oh, did I not go there? Where do you want to go? I guess I didn't go Maybe down to too. Artisan Street. Interesting. Not interesting. It was actually stupid, Chronos. Oh, okay. Okay, fine. Okay. Yeah. If you want to just insult me, that's fine. Yeah, that makes sense. She's in there. Colette, get on the ship. Oh, hey, guys. <laughs> you didn't... Glad you didn't forget it to come back. <laughs> How could I? You, you have the same name as the main heroine from Tales of Symphonia. Are you all getting... What? <laughs> Are you all getting to get on board? Oh, okay, so... Already? Are you all ready to get on board? Sorry. I'm like, my, my brain does a good enough job confusing me enough when it comes to reading stuff. <laughs> Yay. But, you know, stuff like that doesn't help, game! Are you all getting to get on board, Colette? Well, I don't know what the hell you're talking about, but yeah, sure. I want to do something for the people on the street before I leave. You do? You're working at the inn, right? I remember you were saying you got along very well with everyone, too. So, what are you planning? Think about leaving a charm with each of the stores on the street. That's why I came here first, in fact. Or came here, in fact. Would you mind waiting until I'm done? Uh, no. I'll do it. Is there any way we can help? We'll be able to wrap this up much quicker if we split the work. We'd be glad to help. You sure? Awesome. Can I ask you to collect one of the materials I need? Oh, God. It's called the Dryad's Tear. Turner recommended it. Recommended it. Wait. Didn't we get that in the first game? Oh. Oh, no. 
It's a material we were asked to look for during our field study here. It's a semi-pressure stone made from tree sap. If it's all the same to you guys, I'll be over here re repressing that memory. Uh, that makes things easier, I, I guess. You can make get them from the southern cruising highway at this time of year. Would you be able to get four for me? I'll focus on gathering everything else in the meantime. Sure, no problem. Things didn't end too, end too well last time you searched for one of these, huh? Yeah, didn't... It was like some snooty noble that we should have stabbed. Didn't they, like, force us to give it to him or something like that? Oh, we gave it to the store. And then they sold it not to the the lower class, quote-unquote, guy, but to the snooty noble. Right! I should have burned this place to the ground! I remember now! Get the gasoline ring! Are we going to the southern? Yeah, okay. Yeah, man. Rayhard's... I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I'll just be thankful it's not Knights of the Old Public. <laughs> I'll just say that. Good, good lord. Lose my goddamn mind. Give me the sap. Whoa. Found one. Yes, this is definitely a dry its tear. This brings back memories. And the search continues. I mean, you don't want to fight me, right? Yeah, okay, that makes sense. I would crush you like the slug that you are, in fact. Grab that. Woo. That's two. Man, that's really pretty. Still baffles how the Count wanted to eat some of Oh, that's right! The fucker ate it! I don't remember the ending of that quest, to be quite honest. Did he buy it off the third class citizen? Not third class, but the low class citizen? I know he didn't mind because... I don't remember why he didn't mind, to be quite honest. I minded. He, yeah, that's right, he ate it because of some stupid reason. I hope it constipated him. Get out of the way, sluggo. Oh, man. Is Ron White still active as a comedian? And that makes four. Colette should be happy with these. Nice, that wraps up things... Uh, that wraps things up nice and uh, nicely. Let's head back to the Droolers. Yeah, because Sluggo was, like, the name of the that comedian's dog. He used to joke about that. When I called that thing Sluggo, that was not like a reference that I intended to make but when I made it my brain was like hold up whatever happened to that guy <laughs> they had a blip on this the blue collared comedy tour people they had a blip on the I mean they were always famous but at the same time they, they, they got like really mainstream for a short period so I guess they fell back off I don't really know I haven't heard about any of them in a long time Oh, hey, did you get enough tears for me? Sure did, here you are. Let's see, yep, perfecto. Thanks a ton. I should be able to make some really nice charms with these. Speaking of which, time to get Turner to work his magic. I've gathered the materials needed. Colette had her charms made. After leaving one at the jewelers, she left to hand out the rest. He's like, oh, a snack. Thank you very much. He's like, I don't know who you are, but thank you. <laughs> I'm guessing they were having fun chatting with little girl and Colette. I don't know what those that symbols, uh, the moat they're doing is supposed to mean. Just loud talking. There we go. That should be all of them. I'm so glad everyone liked them. I'm not surprised. They're, they're so well made. It was worth all the effort in the end. There wasn't much effort in it. Didn't have any old men eating things that sh they shouldn't this time either. Just glad they, that they ended up in the right hands this time. Yep, good to see you guys managed to make up for what happened last time. But you're happy to have that closure, huh? Thanks a bunch, guys. I got a bunch of clothes and accessories as parting gifts. Gonna have to hand them, hand some of them over. Uh, I'm gonna have to hand some of them out to everyone 
on the Courageous as thanks for letting me come aboard. Are you ready to come with us now? Yep, can't wait to hang out with you with you uh, some of you some more. Okay, well we'll see you on board the Colette. Yeah, we're not actually coming with you, I guess. So now it's just Rex and Rosine. Yes. Well, let's go get Rex, uh, and we'll actually walk here because we can go on that path now. We weren't able to do that last time, right? At the very least, we drove this highway, yes? Hello? Oh, it's Norton! Ah, that was an incredible battle. I know, I am fantastic. There is water around here, I just noticed. Does that mean fishing spot? Or is this the spot that Lara wants to swim in? Either is fine, I guess. Hi. That's right, I guess the provisional army is still in charge of Oryx Fort. Which is really silly to me. But sure. I'm not really sure how conquering actually works, to be quite honest. Oh, were we down here? I remember this. Oh, you want to fight me? Bring it on. And then gonna get an advantage, but whatever. Nothing to fear. This is true. I'll we don't. Stealth Turtle! Hey dogs, you're doing a horrible job being stealthy, just so we're aware. You kinda just look like tortoises. Ow! Thanks. Well, at least it healed a little bit. I'm like, are you really just you're trying enough. to cure her status ailments when she doesn't have any? Cause that's weird. God, I love this goddamn move. You're finished. Here I go. Uh, sure. You can do this one. No. No. Do we not have anything that's... Alright, well, screw it. Just do Frost Edge, then. Uh, I'll handle it. So, yeah, de My definitely turn. dead. Also we dead. Keep going. Well, I guess I don't need to link up with Fee... Because apparently I've already had a special moment with her, Sarah, Toa, and Alfin. Um, I do want to put on detection, though. I don't have detection. I do not have detection. Usus has detection. Has detection. Does this work from the back row? Oh, I don't know yet. Let's go to the next screen. Huh, it does. Cool. Alright. Hey, Yusis. Get the f out of my party. It's because I need Alicia in here for later, I think. If I remember correctly. Uh, from what I was told. So let's go ahead and put the detection on her so I don't have to have that equipped. Yeah, it's pretty good still. It was 10 R. Well, okay, it's not that great, but it's fine. Hello, Praying Mantis. I missed horribly there. Whatever. Lethal Sickle? Is that an instant death? Because if that's an instant death, I'm going to have the Flame Dragon yet. I mean, I was going to do that anyways, because it's like a goddamn amazing ability. But at the same time, okay. you brought it upon yourself. I mean, good job. Look at us, V. We did it. Yeah, we weren't half bad. The experience is not that great, but... Done. He's level 100 now, so that's pretty good. Grab that. Keep an eye out for, like... Oh, there's a path up here. It's an owl bird. That one looks nasty. No, Gotta it doesn't. Be careful, everyone. Celestial Bomb EX. I mean, I should fight it, yeah? Because we haven't seen it. Stay on your toes. My turn. I will stay on all the toes. And by toes, I mean their toes. Wow, we actually did not get okay. unbalanced there. I'm actually surprised. 
One, two, huh? and done. We did there, though, so that's good. Here I go. Hey, delayed. Lovely. Everyone uh -huh. dies. Leave this to me. Do you have a delay? No. Later. But we no, can rush them chance. or burst them. Right. I don't think any one of these people are going to live. Okay, never mind. One big bird lived. But it didn't. It died horribly. Great. I apparently sped through the experience. But hey, level 101. That's not bad. I don't know what the max level is. But I'm sure it's nowhere near where I am right now. I mean, we haven't fought. You said a cat? Careful, everyone. Ow. It's an anteater. We fought something that looked like you early, didn't we? Oh, we ended all of your careers. Our fighting was in perfect sync. When I could keep up. When I could keep up, yeah. No, it was perfect, Reen. Didn't you hear her? It's a battle chest up there. I don't know why I zoomed in all the way. Are you wolves? Oh, I thought you were cats for a second. Is that water over here? Oh, I can't go over there. Oh, hello. I'm just gonna bypass you right now. There's a blue chest. No, that's the battle chest. Why did I think that was a? Oh, because there's a blue chest up there. <laughs> hey, Laura, getting to level up. Not bad. Nope, no, pretty good. Oh look, there's a treasure chest. Hostile spotted. Oh, it's these guys, huh? Let's move. I mean, I don't fear any of you. Really hoping to get more than four. Burn to ash. But sure, I could just use an S break. This is 100% true. Could also stun everyone. It's my turn. Then come over here and just be like, yeah. Heat wave? No, too small. Too small. Yeah, do that one then. I'll handle it. And then this? Sure. They're all sealed or stunned, so we should be fine. I'm burned. Oh, you guys are all dead. Yeah. <laughs> Very extremely dead. We should be safe now. A lot of experience there. Done. <laughs> Naturally. Uh, I'm so glad. What are we getting? Uh, Willin? Kaylin? Here. What is it? Um. I mean, it seems pretty good. It's 25. Can I have this? Apparently, I can have it equipped. I don't want to put it there, though. I guess I could. What's better? I guess I could put that on Fee as well. I mean, that's good to have. Get rid of this, maybe? Gets rid of 5% of her evasion, though. Hmm. I don't know. It seems like it could come in handy, though. Like, I like, uh... What I have equipped right now. At the same time, we could switch it out. Let's see. Is this one of them that I can do? Uses of Machias. No. No, it's not. Have you seen Dorothy's book about Uses of Machias? It started with a noble command, a treasure sword. A treasure sword was brandished, and now with a shotgun wedding. Um. I mean, I'm sure there was some sword fighting in it, for sure. Probably not the time that we're used the kind that we're used to, at least on this channel. But I'm sure there was some. Uh, 
I don't know if you can have a shotgun wedding with that sort of relationship. Shotgun weddings are usually when you get, like, the bride pregnant, and you're like, you're gonna marry my daughter. But, uh, why that accent, Kronos? I don't know, all right? I don't know, maybe that's how it's always just presented in my head. That's just my default impression. Here I go. I don't know why. Anyways, we're fighting this monster here. They're gonna die, and we're gonna get that treasure. Like, this one's totally gonna die. Let's talk about overkill. Freaking Emma's about to blast it for like 18,000 points of damage, which is beautiful. Cool looking spell. 19! Oh! Overachiever. We have another overdrive, too. I feel stronger than ever. Uh, you are extremely strong. Oh, look! There's a treasure chest. Impede 2. Electric Boogaloo. I have that already, so I don't need any more right now. I'm pretty sure Fee already has one on her as well, too. Reen definitely does not need it. Hey, can you come over here? Thank you. Uh... Sure. Was there no I thought there was water. We saw the pond earlier. There's gotta be a fishing point, though. Feels like forever since we found a new fishing point. So we'll keep going until we get Rex. Oh, there's a sept uh, cryptid up there. Septid? No. No, that is not how that's pronounced. But there is a cryptid up there. We will, at the very least, check it. Wait, we haven't fought these guys yet, have we? This poor the bastard. Is ours. I'll handle it. Like, I feel bad. Let's move. That we got a triple advantage on these Fine. guys. It just is kind of feels wrong. Like, I like overkill just as much as everyone else. But. Let's get going. I don't know. Just leaves a bad taste in my mouth when it's that <laughs> much of an so overkill. Glad. This, all right. Oh, there's something down here. Hi, right, grab that. Oh, 700 Septus Mass. That is fantastic. Also, this thing is a giant turtle. Oh, look! There's a treasure chest. Uh, Shadow Blade. Cool. Hi, how's it going? You're cool looking. I'm gonna come back and kill you later, okay? Wait, no, that's not a cryptid. It's a quest monster. Oh! Okay, hi! How's it going? This one's dangerous. Stay on your toes. So I sorry, I didn't I didn't monster. know you were a quest monster. I just kinda thought you were Well here. Uh, like I thought you were just a cryptid. Uh Vel Velk Saron. Okay, so you're like a volcano? So it's probably Velcron, right, Kronos? Shut up. <laughs> Did I ask you? <laughs> no! God damn it. <laughs> Anyways, this guy's gonna die. Flaming dra Well, it's flames, right? I should use a water dragon. I'm gonna use a water spell. That's for goddamn sure. Burn to ash. Yeah, burn to ash, you fire beast. Excuse me? 51,000? Onward. That was incredible. But also this. 51,000. Holy crap. I know we can't do it again because of domination, but yes. Do 25,000 or 18,000, sure. An opening. I'll handle it. I'm sure you will. Now. Now. I'll back you up. Good crit. Of course. Yeah? Here we go. Well, here I go. My god. An opening. Huh. 
I, I feel bad. <laughs> this poor turtle is just sitting here. Okay. And then he has freaking Rain and Emma just doing thousands upon thousands of damage to it. It is. It's great. It's just fantastic. My turn. Yeah. Okay. Well, true Ox Slash, I guess. Goodbye. Kind of forgot we had a kill qu quest down here. That's that. Let's keep As in, I totally read it and then forgot, like a second later. And then, like, two days went by, and I didn't record. I so did here it. I am, not knowing what I'm doing. Yeah, I'm so glad. Success. <laughs> Naturally. Canyon. <laughs> Canyon or Canyon. God damn. Rakshasa. Rakshasa. Rock. Lobster? No, Shasa. Uh, that's pretty good, too. That's actually, yeah, that's fairly good, too. Minus 20, it's like, yeah, no. I need to get these on my physical fighters. Let's head to Oryx Canyon and get Rex. Thank goodness. No, at least again, a little. Good for you. Now there was water on this road. Please, take care. All right, that was dumb. That was just dumb. <laughs> yes, I, I decided to use my S break my just because of how stupid it was of me to do. Target to run needed. into a bridge and let these birds just kill me. And by kill me, I mean run into me and do literally no damage to me. The smart man. Now, there's Rex, I'm assuming. Hi. Hey, Class 7. Sounds like you've been pretty busy lately. Hey, Rex. I didn't expect to see you here. Well, I heard all about how Duke Alvarez was arrested, so I decided to come with the RMP and hand it, head over here. What, all on your own? Yeah, they brought me part of the way here, but I had to go the rest myself. They said they couldn't be able to, they couldn't be able to bring me all the way to the fortress. Uh, don't go causing trouble now. The Cruise and Provincial Army is temporarily withdrawn from the conflict, but they're still a nasty force to be reckoned with. For some reason, if you go and upset them, you'll only be putting yourself in danger. Hey, there's no need to try and scare me. I'm not try gonna try anything, I promise. Besides, the place isn't going anywhere near as dangerous as the next place I'm going to go. Oh, wh where would that be? You're not seriously thinking of... The army's planning to send help to the guys fighting over out on the west. So I'm going to tag along and snap loads of photos of the situation over there. Western Erebonia? The fighting is worse there than it is here. That'll be really dangerous. Did Captain Claire or her uh, didn't give you permission to do that? Well, they said no when I asked, but I'm still set on going, so I'll have to stow away in the cargo or something. You know you're going to get in prison for that, right? But don't you worry about me, haha, <laughs> I found my true calling as a war photographer. I've got nothing to fear. And Fidelli is not around, so I gotta try and do what I can without relying on him. His spirit as a cameraman is certainly admirable. This is better than taking sneaky pictures of women. He may have, and, and I'm not just making that as a joke, the dude does that in, like, in the first game. He may have managed to avoid danger up until now, but there's no guarantee that it will always be the case. My instincts are telling me I should try and stop him. If anyone's going to be able to change his mind, it's Fidelio. He was always the one keeping Rex in check back on uh, when they were on the photography club. So if I ask him... Rex, you should probably re rethink that idea of yours. But even if you're not going to listen to me, I think there's someone else you know very well who will hear you, who'll, you'll hear out. Like who? Wait a sec, you don't mean... Just wait here, I'll go and call him. Green contacted the Courageous and explained Rex's plan to Fidelio. But with no convincing required, he agreed to meet them at Oryx Fort to persuade Rex not to go. He showed up with a bat for some reason. Sorry for taking so long, Rex. But Fidelio! Haha, <laughs> so you were okay after all? I certainly am. I'm traveling around on board the Courageous with Class 7 and plenty of other Thor students now. I've been taking photographs of the war from the perspective of a noble student. So in that sense, what I've been doing isn't all that different from what you've been doing. 
But really, you've been acting as a war photographer too. Green told me you're planning on going to Western Erebonia, is that true? You understand just how dangerous that would be, right? Of, of course I understand. I know it'll be dangerous, especially for a kid like me who's only as good as the photograph he takes. There's even a chance I won't make it back alive. But I'm a war photographer now. I won't run away at, any, at any, every sign of danger. I didn't realize you were that serious about this. I still think it's too dangerous for a student to be running around there, though. Yeah. It's, <laughs> it's weird, but to tell you the truth, I'm really happy to hear that. All you ever did back at the club was take pictures of cute girls. I'm moved by how much you how much thought you've given you've given their future. But I think if you feel you have a duty to uh, to photograph this war, that's all the more reason why you should stay in the East. Why is that? The Noble Alliance's tactic had the third and fourth armored division locked in the eastern side of the country. But thanks to Class Seven's efforts, things are slowly beginning to change. I wouldn't be surprised if the battle to take back the capital came sooner rather than later. And I think that's when our club will finally be able to shine, even more so if we have the Courageous. Together we'll be able to capture this war's final moments and share them with the citizens all across the country. We're not just photographers, we're also military academy students. This is something only the two of us can do. Dots? That's true, everyone has a role that suits them. And all the while, you would be doing it specifically as students. It's a strength and not a weakness to know and understand what task would best suited to you. We already know the perfect battlefield where you can best test, uh, best use your skills, Rex, and it's right here in the Eastern Arabonia. So, would you be willing to help us? You're gonna need, we're gonna need you there when we take back the academy. Oh, guys, <laughs> you need my help that much, do you? Uh, what, Rex? Okay, if you want me that badly, who am I to say no? Starting today, I'll be serving as a war photographer aboard the Courageous. Come to think of it, I bet I'll be able to take some incredible shots in the sky. You guys better have some girls with nice boobs on board, and maybe if the wind blows hard enough on the deck I can. Don't even think about it. His reason for coming with us just got a whole lot creepier. He seemed so numb-minded mere moments ago. Is it too late to back out of this? <laughs> it looks like you're back to your old self, unfortunately. Anyways, let's show Erebonia what our photog photography club can really do. That's <laughs> your sure thing! After some stern warnings on what would happen if anyone were to catch him taking unwanted pictures of girls, Rex joined Fidelio on board the Courageous. Well, that's a HR visit waiting to happen. Is there really no water over here? I thought there was water over here. I'm going inside. Okay, never mind. Well, they do own the place now. You guys are nothing. Yes, I did come to mock you. You are welcome to try to kill me where I stand. You're gonna regret it. All right, well, we record, uh, recorded, we recruited a bunch of students today and finished the side quest. So yeah, that is it for this episode. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, press like below. If you're not subscribed yet, when you have a video, so I can check out some of the content, see if it's your liking. Once again, thank you for watching. Hope you all have a great day.